I worry for people who base almost their entire identity around their sexuality. Straight, gay, or anything in between, it's, it's not really a sustainable identity. I mean, yes, your sexuality is part of your identity, sure. But why make it the centerpiece of your personality? Why make it the first and foremost part of your identity? If you put your family first, that isn't putting your sexuality first and foremost. That's putting your family first. Yes, it's straight and sex was required to get those results. But sex is not what the family stands for. Whether you're a woman or a man, if you show a picture of your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, or you show a picture of your kids, that's not talking about sex. The subject of sex can certainly come up, though. I mean, if your sexuality is the primary thing that you're interested in, then yay, I guess. Giggity, 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 giggity. Congratulations. Hedonism is a very tempting thing. I was certainly there. And I really regret it because... Not only did I miss out on so much because of how shallow I was, and boy was I shallow, so many great people and great experiences I could have had in my life, but, uh, you know, not only that, not only does my body look like shit now, but, you know, the whole thing almost ended my life because of the interests that I had. The worst years being between 2015 and 2017. You know, the gaining thing that I'm so thankful to be out of. Straight guys who base their identity around their sexuality usually look really absurd. They're either like pickup artists, or they're always trying to prove just how much they like tits and vagina. Giggity, 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 giggity. It's almost as if they want to be congratulated for simply stating that they like those things. Like this window sticker. Yeah, why are you making your sexual interests everyone else's business? I mean, if you're at Mardi Gras or something, fine. Uh, if you're at a pride parade, whatever, you know. But why is it everyone's business otherwise? How are you going to identify when you get old enough that your sex drive decreases? And you may have found that after you reached a certain pleasure level in whatever you were interested in, you realized that it's never going to be close to that good ever again. Or maybe you've found that there's no way to enjoy what you want without it being dangerous to you, the other person, or both. Yeah, when you get older, you generally take fewer chances, if you have a brain anyway. How are you going to identify now? Are your social media posts still going to be primarily filled with pictures of uh, fictional or real people that you find sexually attractive? I mean, sure, posting that sort of thing once in a while is fine. I, I think uh, anyone who has any sort of sexuality on their mind at any point... Um, is, is guilty of doing something like that. And, and I shouldn't even say guilty because it's just like there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. But if that's the only thing that you post, if that's it, just pictures of people you find sexually attractive, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to leave negative comments on it or anything, but I mean, yeah, you do you. But still, I mean, if we're to be honest, though, if, if that's, your only interest, that's pretty shallow. I've seen it from straight people, from gay people, and from anyone in between. Though I see it the least often from straight men because they get called sexist when they do. We seem to give gay men more of a pass because they're still considered an oppressed group. And the general consensus across social media and other types of media is that it's degrading to sexually objectify women. Rarely do people really care about the sexual objectification of men. Now, I understand there's a power issue. Fine, fine. Okay, yes, there's a power issue. There's, there could be a whole discussion about that. Fine, I get it. Okay, but that's not what this video is about. So, anyway, have a joy, joy day.